What's going on everybody? Moises Foz with Foz Power Washing LLC here at a beautiful Corpus Christi, Texas. Hope everybody's doing good, great. And uh, so in this, in, uh, in this video, I pretty much want to talk about how we uh, price our uh, jobs pretty much. Any commercial jobs, any residential jobs. Um, pretty much what we take into consideration when we're pricing these jobs, especially if it's a commercial job. Uh, so we'll just get right into it. So behind me, as you can see, this is a, uh, a Marriott here in Corpus Christi. Uh, I spoke with the manager uh, from, from one of the locations, and he gave me an address. He told me to come over here and check this property out, see what we could do. Uh, so it's about three stories high, uh, and the areas that they want to get hit, you can see back here, is about three stories high. Well, it's three stories high. Uh, so it's high elevation, so... You know, you got to take into consideration any equipment that you're going to be using as far as rental equipment. Uh, definitely take into consideration that. And then as well as your own equipment, see how much it is going to, how much it's going to cost to run your own equipment. Uh, from gas to uh, 12 volt pumps to maybe even downstream injectors. You want to you take that into, into consideration. And then as well as your materials costs, how much your material, material is going to cost you to complete the job from uh, SH all the way to degreasers, any surfactants, uh, any chemicals that you need to get the job done. And then uh, you also just kind of want to take into consideration is the timing. Uh, you want to give them uh, a pretty precise timing on when when uh, you figured you'd be done with the job. Uh, might take a day, might take two days, so just really just, just depends. And then, uh, I mean, if you got if you have guys working for you, of course you want to take into consideration their time and how much it's uh, it's going to cost you to pay them. So just you know, real quick basics on how to price uh, commercial jobs, even residential jobs. Um, and I think the the main things is to consider is your equipment cost for sure, and then your material cost for sure. Um, you want to price it at at a good price to where you're making more than you're spending and um, you also want to give uh, you want to give a good quality service because most times guys will price it at a certain amount and then they get into the job and then they figured that um, well I didn't price it that as much or either or they didn't price it as, as much as they would want it to pretty much and then that's when the self-doubt starts kicking in you start lacking um, on your services, you start lacking, you start doubting yourself. So you always want to price accordingly, and um, you know, just keep in contact with the with the property managers. Let them know, hey, this might take you know maybe a day to, to price, you know, to make sure you want to get your numbers down, or it might just take you know maybe even 30 minutes. Um, but you definitely just want to take into consideration all the factors that come into you know washing a building like this. And uh, just real quick, crash course. Uh, don't want to make this video too long. Uh, appreciate everybody subscribing, liking the videos, and uh, if you have any comments, just go ahead and drop them down on the on the comment section, and then uh, I'll answer as much as I can. All right, y'all. Peace.